Armchair Creator of Meg's Music Room. It's time for Solving the Recorder Mystery, Mission 5. On Mission 5, we will be decoding G. If you like my recorder videos, or if you want to learn about music in general, subscribe below now. You have three assignments for Mission 5. Assignment number one, learn the fingering for G. Assignment number two, learn how to read G on the music staff. And assignment number three, learn the differences between B, A, and G. So let's go ahead and get started. Remember, if you don't know you're writing your left, you can write an L on your left hand and an R on your right hand, or you could put a sticker on your left hand. Also remember, if you are squeaking, it's from one of these two reasons. Number one, you might be blowing too hard, or number two, you might not be covering the holes all the way. So as we go through this lesson, if you start squeaking, pause the video and figure out what the problem is before continuing. And now it's time for <laughs> mission five. Assignment number one, fingering for G. The fingering for G is thumb one, two, three. So that's G. You get your thumb, you put it on the thumb hole, and then one, two, three. Make sure you're using your left hand, of course. Put your right hand down where it's supposed to go, but don't cover any holes. This is how it looks on the fingering chart right here. The thumb is blackened in, you see that hole by the side, and then you have one, two, three. The top three holes are blackened in because those are the holes that are covered. To complete assignment number one, let's play some G. I'll play it, and then you play it, then I play it, then you play it over and over again. Make sure you have your left hand, thumb one, two, three, right hand down at the bottom. My turn first. Go ahead and do that over and over again if you're squeaking. The G likes to squeak, but you can conquer this. Assignment number two, reading G on the music staff. As always, I'm gonna put my music staff on my fingers and then I'll put a real music staff somewhere around in here. G is the second line on the music staff. Remember, you start at the bottom and it goes one, two. This line is G. For the rest of your life, if there's a treble clef at the beginning of the staff, this line is G. So if you have a note head, here's like a note head, and then there's a line shooting through the middle of it and it's the second line, it's G, you finger it thumb, one, two, three, and that's it. It's easy. To complete assignment number two, I want you to challenge yourself to read the music while we're playing. So I'll play it and then you play it, then I play it, then you'll play it over and over again. We're gonna do each pattern two times and right now we are only playing G. If you want a bigger challenge, go to the end of the video right before the nature scene and you can see all the same rhythms but I won't be there playing it with you so you can play it by yourself. Remember, thumb one, two, three with your left hand and your right hand goes at the bottom but don't cover any holes. you've completed assignment number two, it's time for assignment number three, recognizing the differences between B, A, and G. B is the highest, A is in the middle, and G is the lowest. So B highest, A middle, G lowest. B is the third line, A is the second space, G is the second line. B, A, G. It spells bag. So if you start at the top, it goes B, A, G, bag. B, A, G, bag. 
Now, because B looks the highest, it also sounds the highest. Because A is in the middle, it sounds like it's in the middle. And because G is the lowest of those three, it sounds the lowest of those three. So high, middle, low. To complete assignment number three, I want you to practice playing B, A, and G with me. So I will play a pattern and then you play it, just like always. And also if you want a bigger challenge for this, I will put this at the end of the video right before the nature scene also. I'll play each pattern two times. Remember left hand on top, right hand on the bottom. This next one starts on G, so watch out. Make sure I don't trick you. This one's even trickier. It's got a skip in there. My turn. Last one. If you want more practice on this mission, I have made recorder warm-ups that are just one minute long for each of the missions on solving the recorder mystery. So check out the links at the very, very end of this video and I'll put them there. Once you have finished assignment three, you have completed mission five. Next time on Solving the Recorder Mystery, mission six, we will be revealing the hidden staircase. Did you know there was a staircase on the recorder? There is. And this is going to make it so much easier for you to read music and play the recorder at the same time. I can't wait. If you're using this video, give me a thumbs up to let me know. So I hope you'll join me next time on Solving the Recorder Mystery. Hey teachers, if you want the ad-free, promo-free, downloadable version of this video, plus the graphics and PDF and PowerPoint, then check out the link in the description below for my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Thank you for watching. Check out my music minutes and my recorder videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for updates. Click the links in the description below for my social media sites and for other great resources. And don't forget Meg's Music Room, a music teacher's best friend.